Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in this magnificent setting to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. In today's ceremony, we will witness the joining of Jules and Constantine in everlasting love. Jules, about nine years ago, we were introduced by a mutual friend. That night, you had me hooked right there and then. It didn't take long for me to realize that I'm madly in love with you. It wasn't easy, but I learned to be patient. It was your sassy attitude, the never-ending jokes, and a personality full of love and life that I could not resist. For them, out of the ordinary routine of everyday life, something extraordinary happened. They met one another. Khan fell for Jules immediately. She later fell for Khan. <laughs> and they're here today amongst their closest friends, family, and God to cement their love for one another for eternity. Khan, you changed my story. You're nothing I ever expected, but everything I needed. You forever changed my world. I love the way your voice sounds when you say my name. I love the way your mouth quivers every time you look at me when I'm all dressed up. I love the man you were when I met you, and I love the man you're growing into. I love every version of you. I promise to always pursue you, to fight for you, and love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. As gorgeous as you are right here and right now, I will only love you more and more each day of our lives. You are the love of my life, my best friend, and now my wife. Yes, oh, Thank you, I can't, uh, I can't, damn it. So without further delay, let's get this already married couple <laughs> married again. Khan, do you take Jules to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Jules, do you take Khan to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. With the love between you that has brought us all here today, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Khan, you may briefly, respectfully, and not for a second longer than necessary, kiss my sister. <laughs> it is my distinct privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Abuhoff. I can't wait to make you the happiest man in the world because you've already made me the happiest woman. I can't wait to be yours forever and live happily ever after. I love you, Khan, and I promise to find you in every lifetime. I know we've seen better days. Life is just a game we play. Jules, the moment that you were born, you literally stole my heart. I'm like, wow, she is just awesome. She's like me. So I turned to, I turned to your dad and I'm like, damn, we did such a good job. We could stay We could stay So all was good until you told me one day that you met this boy. And then on top of it, she's like, he's Russian and he's from Brooklyn, like, just like that. And many of you have heard me say this before, I didn't like him. And I broke them up. But you can't change fate. 
he comes back. Constantine, he's determined, he knows what perseverance is, he's got drive, ambition, and he works hard. That passion, ambition, and drive drove him to find his jewel. So this second time around, Con 2.0, I got to know more, and I spent time with him. I obviously grow to love him more and more each day. She chose someone who is beautiful. I just didn't see that in the beginning. Khan is genuine, he's chivalrous, he's thoughtful, and he's so patient. Out of all the billions of people in the world, you two found each other. Jules, I want you to know that Constantine cherishes you, adores you, and will always protect you without a doubt in his heart. I want you to know that you've always made me proud, you've always been my best friend, and the bond that we have will forever be one of the things I'm most grateful for in my life. Khan is a lucky man, and everyone in here should be envious of him, because there's truly no one else like you in this world. Now, as we raise our glasses to celebrate this moment, let us also promise Jules and Khan to share in all the moments that are yet to come. May forever not seem long enough. And Jules, may the last lesson you teach me be how to live happily ever after.